Hello, and thank you for your interest in SimpleSync. The goal of this short video is to provide an overview of the basic configuration options required for syncing, as well as show you how quickly a SimpleSync connection can be created, configured, and run, allowing you to see the results of your first sync in just a few short minutes. For the purpose of this test connection, we will be using a source Exchange 2000 directory and a destination Exchange 2007 directory. It is important to note for the purpose of syncing, Exchange 2000, 2003, and 2007 all utilize the SimpleSync Active Directory templates. This is because Active Directory is the underlying LDAP directory type for Exchange. So although the connection templates refer to Active Directory, if Exchange is loaded on the target forest, the Exchange users and or contacts will be synced. Here is a view of the destination Exchange 2007 Active Directory Management Console. You can see we've manually created an OU called External Contacts. Our test connection will be configured to create mail-enabled contacts in this container. Here is a view of the destination Exchange 2007 Exchange Management Console. Once we've successfully executed the sync process, we will return to this console to view the newly created contacts. Once you've started the SimpleSync Admin Tool, you may select an existing connection or create a new connection. To create a new connection, click Connection, New, Connection. Specify a unique name for your connection and select your map templates. The map templates define the source and destination directory types. For use with our Exchange 2000 Source Forest, we'll elect the default source template which is ActiveDIR. The ActiveDIR template will allow the connection to pull users, contacts, and groups from a Source Exchange 2000 forest. For use with our Exchange 2007 destination forest, we'll elect the default destination template, which is ActiveDIR Contact Mail Enabled. This template will allow the connection to create mail enabled contacts in the Destination Exchange 2007 forest. Click OK to create the connection. Now that the connection is created, we'll move to the Source tab where we'll enter the connection information for the Source directory. When pulling from a Source Exchange forest, we must specify the IP or hostname of a domain controller in the Source forest. We must also specify a login ID and password for a user in the Source domain. This login ID must have at least read access in the Source domain. You may click the test button to verify the information you've entered authenticates successfully. Next, we'll move to the Destination tab where we will enter the connection information for the destination directory. When writing to a destination exchange forest, we must specify the IP or hostname of a domain controller in the destination forest. We must also specify a login ID and password for a user in the destination domain. This login ID must be a domain admin or be granted full control to the OU where the connection will be creating objects. You can click the test button to verify the information you've entered authenticates successfully. In order for the connection to create new contacts in the destination domain, we must specify the OU in which to create the new contacts. We have the option to specify a structure name which will allow the connection to automatically create the necessary OU in the destination domain. Or you may specify a placement DN, which identifies an existing OU where you want to create your contacts. For this test, we will specify the existing OU we created earlier, external contacts. You can click verify to confirm that the placement DN you have specified is found on the destination directory. Click Apply to save the configuration options you've entered. All of the required configuration options have now been entered. This is all that is required for the initial test of our Exchange 2000 to Exchange 2007 connection. We'll move to the General tab for a brief review of the on-run options. A complete sync phase requires the discovery read of the source, and a sync 
right to the destination. For testing or troubleshooting, you may elect to enable simulation. For the purpose of this first sync, we will leave only the discovery and sync phases enabled. To run the connection, click Connection, Run with Pause. The pause allows you to review the results of the discovery phase before proceeding with the sync phase. The discovery phase completed successfully, pulling 17 records. Click Continue to proceed with the sync phase. The sync phase completed successfully, creating 17 contacts on the destination. Switching over to view the Destination Exchange 2007 Active Directory Management Console, we'll refresh the view and we can see the contacts have been created in the External Contacts OU. Switching over to view the Exchange 2007 Exchange Management Console, we'll refresh the view and we can see the contacts in the Mail Contact folder. This completes the review of a basic simple sync connection configuration and initial sync run between two exchange forests. If you have any questions about what you've seen in this demo, or any other simple sync functionality, or would like assistance with your own simple sync implementation, please contact us at support at Thanks for watching. Have a great day and happy syncing.